Commitment 2022 coverage now with a look at the race to serve District 20 in the Nebraska State Legislature. Incumbent John McAllister currently represents the southern part of Douglas County, but he's term limited. Well, now three candidates are vying to replace him in the unicameral. KETV News Watch 7's Jonah Gilmore speaks with them about their priorities. Political newcomer John Fredrickson is a social worker and seeking the District 20 seat. Politics was something that I never thought I would get into myself. The husband and father understands what it's like to have a young family living in Nebraska. He says he's running after hearing how policies were affecting people's lived experiences. I think that involves having really strong public schools statewide so that we have equal opportunities to excel academically. I think that does include having robust and accessible mental health and health care resources so that we have equal opportunities to thrive. And I also think that includes having welcoming and inclusive policies so that we can attract and retain talent in our state. Stu Dornan sat on the West Side School Board and currently sits as a member of the Nebraska Educational Service Unit. We need to be able to compete with other states. Uh, I've heard from a lot of uh, elderly residents that they simply can't afford the property taxes. The political veteran, former Douglas County attorney and former FBI agent is focusing on property taxes, public safety and mental health. He says with his background, he brings a unique approach. Just because I'm not a member of the younger gener generation doesn't mean I don't understand the issues that they have. Uh, I'm somebody who is uh, thoughtful. I'm somebody who uh, thinks uh, through uh, things. I'm not afraid to uh, change a position uh, and I like to review where I am uh, periodically because society is dynamic. Julie Fredrickson says her platform is all about freedom. I am against mandates. I'm against um, mandated vaccines in particular and masking and I want to protect parental rights for the kids in school. The pro-life advocate vows to tackle abortion, property taxes, and transparency. I went ahead and put everything on the table to the voters, and they like that transparency. I said that I was pro-life. I said that I want to close the borders eventually. I said that I'm Pro Second Amendment. All candidates have plans to reach across the political aisle, saying bipartisan support can make Nebraska a place where the good life is an opportunity for everyone. If you find common ground, then you have a far better chance of success with respect to legislation. I'm already reaching across the aisle in my own way, but I refuse to um, to compromise my values and the wishes of my district. That's what the doors allow us to do, is to actually converse with folks, even if we have different perspectives on how to best get things done. Jonah Gilmore, KETV News, Watch 7.